Hi everyone, the topic of today's report is exploring anomalous structure loads in dynamic stream network. The paper was written by Professor Wang Huan from Huazhong Agricultural University. Next, I will elaborate this paper from five aspects background data fiction. My knowledge, experimental analysis, and the conclusions. Recently, the Lambic Stream Network research has attracted a great amount of attention, especially in the area of anomaly analysis that analyzes the anomalous change in the evolution of the Lambic Stream Networks. Our research exploring Anomalized structure load in dynamic social network belongs to this research. This purpose of anomaly analysis is to direct those anomalies and discover useful information for coping with anomaly. At present, there are two typical methods for anomaly of dynamic social network. One is text-based method and the other is graph-based method. However, many correct graph-based method only monitor the anomalized structure change of macro social networks. The alumni analysis at the macro level of social networks it's a scarcely exploited. So this research proposed a universal analysis method in dynamic social network from the perspective of anomalous change of microlots, multiple label superposition, similar similarity method. The method can be derived from a arrival of social relaxing or interaction without extents. It mainly consists of a um, multiple label range algorithm and a superposition similarity fluctuation algorithm. This study mainly solved two problems in the dynamic social network. An efficient method is provided to represent the structure similarity of loads at different modes, moments. In order to identify and evaluate loads by, based on a normalized structure change, this study proposed to quantify the structure change of load from perspective of different structure similarity. Next comes the problem definition section. The problem in this research are classified into identification problem and evaluated problem. We used GS3 to represent the dynamic social network in those three consecutive days. An analysis structure change based load is a load who has a normalized structure change compared with its usual or past structure states for a micro loads is a Remotion and generation of this anomalous. For example, node X exists in GT1 but is absent in GT2. We define the NST to represent the anomalous structure change based load states. Given GST and NST, we need to obtain a matching set MST. Well, each node is assigned with a reasonable evaluation value. 
I X to quantify its anomalized degree in the Tiger theory. If C D belongs to N S three, then we need a size two value to node three and node D two reasonable signify their anomalized degrees in the third day. Finish the deflation of problem, then introduce the math in detail. MN SSM introduces diverse structures, similarity of load within multiple label ranges. It considers the structural change of load reflected in both direct and indirect label. MNRA and SSFA are two key components of MNSSM. Let's talk about multiple label range algorithm. The algorithm considers the same load at different times as two different loads and then extend each in this for the similarity in this or for link prediction as shown in the left table below. The mathematical expression of extensional similarity in this based on left table are shown in the right table. Take the SOA index as an example. According to the extensional appearance, the structural similarity of node D is equal to zero when T1 and T2, and it's also zero when T2 and T3. Then we introduce an observation node, which is a virtual load defined to connect all existing loads at all relevant times. According to the extension similarity in this, the structural similarity of load D is equal to 2 third when T1 and T2, and the structural similarity of load D is equal to 2 fifths when T2 and T3. Therefore, we can find that in some special case, the addition of observation load is beneficial to reflect the structural change of load. Next, we extend the link prediction in this to the range of multiple label. The multiple label similarity MS between node XT1 and node XT2 can be directly calculated by formula 1 and formula 2. Finally, to store the multiple label similarities between XT1 and XT2 on the basis of different existential similarity in this in five, we construct a similarity matrix ST. After introduce the multiple label range algorithm, we say to introduce the superposition similarity fluctuation algorithm to precisely reflect the structure change of loads. We use the particle swarm polymerization to deal with multiply optimization. The superposition similarity wave fluctuation index is proposed from the perspective of different multiply label similarities which can quantify the structure change of each node into compare periods. The calculation method of superposition similarity fluctuation index SFI is shown in Formula 4, Formula 4, the large, the so superposition similarity fluctuation index as the y is, the greater the load change is. 
if the denominator is zero, the superposition similarity fluctuation index is directly set to zero. However, in order to obtain the maximum superposition similarity fluctuation index as of i, we face the chance challenge of reasonable for determining the value of the epidemic ad adaptive factor in set X. In value of this challenge, the superposition similarity fluctuation algorithm solves the optimization problem through the follow steps initial the adaptive factor particle swarm update the position of adaptive factor based particles operate the mutation for adaptive factor based particle to quantify the similarity fluctuation between the two pipes, we propose the fitless fraction FIT corresponding to PKG as follow this one. In SSFA, each node have an equally optimization ability to maximally reflect its structure change and obtain its large value. Thus, each load will zero correctly obtain its largest value on the basis of the maximum similarity fluctuation of the entire social network with the large FIT value. Next, we talk about the implementation of multiple label superposition similarity for the uh, method MNSSM applied MNRA to characterize the structure similarities of different nodes with multiple label range based on the extension similarity in this. SSFA in MNSM defines the fitless function based on the purpose superposition similarity fluctuation index and uh, at rate of at rate of optimize the position of each adaptive factor based uh, particle to maximally reflect the structure change of each node. Next, uh, we will identify the fibrillity of our mass from the implementation analysis part. We used eight data sites as shown in this table for experimental analysis. This table is a detailed description of the data sites. We use two typical materials to identify accuracy alpha and anomalous difference beta to evaluate the performance of the method. RA denotes the ratio of alumni nodes in all loads. We set the largest number of the label range R max. From the table, we can say that the performance of our method is positively correlated with R max and the growth velocity 
decrease with the increase in the value of R max. This shows that the influence of R max on alumni analysis increasingly steadily but eventually reaches an equilibrium equilibrium. We end up analyzing a real case. We analyze the average alumni of the following six critical time for enroll top two employees. As shown in the picture, is the average alumni degree corresponding to the average alumni degree of six critical time? The multiple label superposition similar regime method best of reflection the degree of coincidence between the fluctuation of alumni degree and corresponding time. Finally, its conclusion. We propose an official multiple label range algorithm. We propose a novel superposition similarity fluctuation algorithm by integrating the Ibo2 algorithm. The purpose multiply label superposition similarity Similarity method can not only identify the anomalous structure change based load by detecting the anomalous structure change of load, but also evaluate their anomalous degree by analyzing those changes in time. Last, thanks for listening.